Let's talk about geometric series. In this video, I will concentrate on finite geometric series. A geometric series is a series whose related sequence is geometric. The series results from adding the terms of the sequence. This is a finite geometric sequence. I know it's geometric because I see that the common ratio is 2. I found the common ratio by taking the second term, dividing it by the first term. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Or I could take the fifth term, divided by the fourth term. I will still get 2. I can find the common ratio of a geometric sequence by taking any term and dividing it by the preceding term. So the common ratio of this geometric sequence is 2. Now let's talk about the geometric series. This is the related finite geometric series. It's simply the same numbers, but we are going to add them. The sum of this geometric series is 93. I can also express geometric series using the sigma notation. This is telling me to add terms 1 through 5 of this series. I see that my first term of the series is 3. The common ratio is 2. So I will simply replace this in with the numbers 1 through 5. You can see that I had 3 times 2 to the 1 minus 1 plus 3 times 2 to the 2 minus 1. And I went up to 5. If I simplify this, I will get the same numbers I had before. I also have a formula to find the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. S sub n is equal to the first term, a sub 1, times 1 minus r, the common ratio, to the nth power, divided by 1 minus r. And of course, r cannot equal 1 because that would make the denominator zero. Let's work our previous problem using the formula. What is the sum of the first five terms of the series? My first term, a sub 1, is equal to 3. My common ratio is equal to 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. I could have used 12 divided by 6 and got 2. Now let's work this problem using the formula. I am looking for the sum of the first five terms. S sub 5. And that is going to equal the first term times 1 minus 2, which is the common ratio, to the fifth. My n in this case is 5. And all of that is divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So that will be 1 minus 2. So that will equal 3 times 1 minus 2 to the fifth is 32 divided by negative 1. 3 times negative 31 is negative 93. My final answer is 93. The same that I got before. Let's try another problem. Find the sum of the first four terms of a geometric series for which a sub 1 equals 2 and the common ratio equals negative 3. Here is my formula. Let's plug in the values. I am looking for the sum of the first four terms, s sub 4. The first term is 2 times 1 minus the common ratio is negative 3 to the fourth. And that is divided by 1 minus negative 3. Now let's simplify this. I cannot change this to a plus. I do need to do exponents first. So I will have 1 minus and negative 3 to the fourth is 81. In the denominator I will have 1 plus 3. That will be 4. I will have 2 times negative 80 divided by 4. The answer the sum of the first four terms in this geometric series is negative 40. 
Now let me show you something. I know that the first term is 2, and the common ratio is negative 3. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 3 is positive 18. 18 times negative 3 is negative 54. And when I add these together, I will get the same answer, negative 40. So once again, the formula for finding the sum of the first n terms in a finite geometric series is s sub n is equal to a sub 1, the first term, times 1 minus r, the common ratio, to the n, that's how many terms we are adding, all of that divided by 1 minus r. And of course, r cannot equal 1.